Hi everyone, it's Miss Skyler. I'm glad you're here. This is our second Thanksgiving book that we are reading and it is so funny. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's see, it's called How to Catch a Turkey. Oh no, we have turkeys sometimes in my yard and I don't catch them because they're pretty quick. But I wonder if this will teach you how to catch a turkey. No turkeys were harmed in the making of this book. So don't worry about our turkeys in the story. All right. Woo, this looks silly already. Here we are on Thanksgiving Day. It's that special time of year. Yes, I know. I am a turkey. That much should be clear. So gather round, I have a tale, and it's really quite a story. What I tell you now is not a joke. It is my crowning glory. Ooh, that turkey looks proud of himself. He looks proud of himself and his accomplishments. How can you tell that he looks proud of himself? He looks proud because he's showing off ribbons and trophies. There's even a picture of him with the football team. So let's see what happens in this story. Why is he so proud of himself? It all began one year ago. I was at a school, you see. Play preparations were underway, but that didn't matter to me. Uh-oh. What kind of play do you think is going on that the turkey might not want to be a part of? You think it's about Thanksgiving? We'll see. Some kids walked by in silly clothes talking about the play. We'll even have a turkey on stage. It's perfect for Thanksgiving Day. And the turkey says, what? He looks a little confused. Turkey stage, no way, no how, had I really heard that right? I broke out of my pen and ran away with a case of the bad stage fright. He busted out of that cage saying, Pshum! he said he had stage fright. What does it mean when you have stage fright? Hmm? It means you are afraid to be in front of an audience. Maybe he was afraid of being cooked for Thanksgiving, too. I burst into the science room, knocked over flasks and beakers, and a cry of, catch that turkey, boomed over the loudspeakers. Uh-oh, can you say that with me? Catch that turkey! And he's got a plunger right on his face. <laughs> Poor kid. So now more children join the chase with catapults and food. Oh no, they're flinging mashed potatoes at him. Trying to catch that turkey. That's not very nice. But their goopy mashed potatoes weren't enough to keep me glued. Ooh, he got away. Yay. So far, so good for this turkey. He's having quite an adventure. Up next, there was a maze of books that stretched from wall to wall. But with a big hop and a mighty flap, I managed to escape it all. Oh, what room was he in here? You think he was in the cafeteria or the library? He was in the library because all of the books were stacked together in a maze. But phew, he made it. I ducked past chairs and bags and desks. Now that was quite a trick. The kids thought they could stop me here, but I was much too quick. Ooh, a quick turkey. And where is he going? He's jumping out the, jumping out the window. Oh, it doesn't get better from here. I ran outside to the jungle gym, 
thinking I could hide. But the recess yard was all tricked out. I'd have better luck inside. Ooh, look at all that. They're on the playground. There's a football being thrown around. A frisbee could hit him. Not a very safe place for a turkey to be when he's trying to run away. Finally, the kids gave up, but the principal gave chase. Oh, there she is with a net. My only hope of escaping her was keeping up at my pace. Looks like she's a little slower than the turkey. And she's saying, catch that turkey! I slid into the coach's room and crashed into a chair. I got tangled up in jerseys, but I won't get stuck in there. Oh, look at all those jerseys. I bet that doesn't smell very nice either. Where's that turkey? Ah, I see. <laughs> His head's covered in a jersey. Poor turkey. I ran into a curtain. There was nowhere else to go. I couldn't get past the principal, but the curtain led to the show. So he has two choices. One choice is to go past the curtain onto the stage that he's afraid of. The second choice is to get caught in a net. Which choice would you pick? Hmm. I don't know. I'd rather go on stage than get caught in a net. Let's see what he chooses. My heart was racing and I started to sweat. I couldn't squawk or run. Uh-oh, he froze. I took a deep breath. I can do this. Who knows? This might be fun. What a good attitude to have. Even if he's scared, he took a deep breath, which is a really good strategy to use. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Who knows? It could be fun. Maybe you could try something even if you're scared of it. Because you don't know. It could be fun. Let's see what happens. A kid stood up and pointed. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He really is. A parent agreed in his little mascot suit. Oh, they think he's a mascot. What does that word mean, mascot? What does that word mean? If he's a mascot, what does he do? He's an animal that represents the school and the school's characters. I started to smile and even dance while the crowd continued to cheer. Look at him. He's hitting the dab almost. I was filled with joy that I took the chance, and that's what started my mascot career. Wow. So he did something that he was very afraid of, and now he is very happy about that decision. He was very brave to take that choice. Have you ever done something that was really, really scary, but you were brave anyway? I bet you have. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yay. And here's the turkey getting raised up by his friends. See, they don't want to catch him. He's making a good mascot. So even Thanksgiving, it might look a little different, but we can still read silly books together. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.